A Milwaukee group is blazing a different kind of trail. This year, the African American Environmental Pioneer Awards will honor 12 people making big strides in protecting our environment. 12 News meteorologist Dajia Swad sat down with two honorees to talk about the work they're doing from Lake Michigan to Milwaukee's parks. I think sitting out and reading in like any of Milwaukee County Parks is really cool. Milwaukee native Lauren Cross not only enjoys green spaces, but also works to protect them. If we're going to address the climate crisis, we need to do it with full force. Cross, a young community leader, comes from generations of change makers. Her uncle marched in the 1960s against housing discrimination. I think he's one of the people that inspired me to come into community activism. Cross volunteers with the Milwaukee Alliance Against Racist and Political Repression, typically advocating for racial equality. The group is now bringing change to Milwaukee's parks. We focused on renaming Lindbergh Park, who was a former Nazi sympathizer in Milwaukee to Lucille Berrien, who was a freedom fighter in Milwaukee. From that campaign, we were also able to reallocate $2.5 million to Milwaukee County Parks. Up the road on Fleet and 47th. I love the work that I do. Kiva Guiden with Citizen Action of Wisconsin is working to highlight Milwaukee's energy burden. The energy burden is basically the annual percentage one pays from their annual income, so towards their electric and gas bill. And in our black and brown communities, those rates are looking really high. She says they're not just paying more with their wallets. And as we all know, coal and fossil fuel damaging to the climate, the planet, as well as it's not good for our health. In the last six months, Guiden helped families organize rallies and advocate for policy change in Madison. This month, both Kiva and Lauren received an award for their hard work in the community at the fourth annual African American Environmental Pioneer Awards. Why are these awards so important for recognizing those in the Milwaukee community? It's an important honor um, and an action both ways to, to honor black folk who've been working in the areas of blue and green or environmental preservation, conservation, because these are spaces that we just don't kind of loudly and publicly see ourselves in. Who knew that I would be here? The NBA highlighting black owned restaurants in the area. The league featured 10 of the top spots here in Milwaukee. The list including a Goodman's Desserts near 23rd in Wisconsin featuring cookies and cakes. Alem Ethiopian Village near Broadway in Wisconsin offers authentic Ethiopian cuisine. And Heaven's Table Barbecue near 55th and North features a variety of meats and southern style food. 12 News talked to some of the restaurant owners on 12 News at 4. I'm beyond honored. Funky Fresh Spring Rolls is, is hometown heroes, just like the Milwaukee Bucks. Faith is a huge part of um, how I was raised, and so I believed wholeheartedly that when I put my passion together, um, that it would make room for my purpose, and that's exactly what it did. Up next, the small town with a big place in Wisconsin's history. I'm just concerned with the past of Lake Ivanhoe being recognized for what it was. Mm -hmm.